Okay, hello, I'm Jim Rebgetz from Numan Bar Valley Environmental Education Centre and I'm here at Helensvale State High School today to, um, to show the students our energy trailer. Just a little bit of background, um, Numan Bar Valley Environmental Ed Centre, we're located up behind Hins Dam and uh, we have no and never had had any power connection to the grid. So alternative energy has always been a big part of the centre. Uh, any student that comes to the centre on camp, they learn about our our uh, standalone power system, how it operates, and uh, we compare that to what, how they get their electricity at home. Um, alternative energy has become so important in the last few years though that we decided to get the trailer built. So we got some sponsorship from Gold Coast City Council and from Education Queensland, got our trailer built and we now visit 40 schools a year. We're sponsored by Gold Coast City Council each year so we, we don't have to charge anything for our visits to schools. So what we're basically on about is um, we're talking about energy. The program outlines where we get electricity from now, as in coal-fired power stations, uh, how that system works in getting electricity to people's houses, how they pay for it. And we also talk about uh, some of the problems with that in terms of um, greenhouse gases and um, the fact that coal is a non-renewable resource. So we, um, we introduce students to the idea of alternative energy, renewable energy, uh, and look at the variety of power sources that could be used in the future to power. Right, so the trailer itself is actually a standalone power system. Uh, the trailer is powered by two sources. We've got wind power. You can see our wind turbine up there spinning around in the breeze. That has a generator built in that sends electricity down into the trailer. And also we have um, an array of solar panels on top of the trailer tilted to the sun. So they're producing electricity whenever the sun's shining. The electricity is sent down into the trailer and is stored inside batteries. I can show you those now. So there's our two batteries inside the trailer there. That's where we store the electricity until we want to use it. And then if you come around this side, on this side of the trailer we have an inverter and what that does when the electricity comes out of the batteries it comes out as DC or 12 volt this converts it to alternating current to 240 volts and then we can power whatever we like uh, from the sockets here so it's a standalone power system with the energy stored in batteries to we when we want to use it with for the students we have an array uh, or a range of different appliances that we turn on and we have a meter here which indicates how much electricity is actually being consumed and so the students are able to compare different kinds of energy appliances, different kinds of lights for example so if I turn on with our energy mode here, if I turn on one of the light systems Okay, we've got a, a high wattage halogen bulb inside that, um, that display there and you can see that's reading 95 watts which is a considerable amount of electricity for only one bulb. So we're showing the students that some bulbs consume a large amount of electricity and others less so. If I change that to these incandescent bulbs, we're still burning a lot of electricity there up to 87 watts uh, for, for our disco lights there. If I turn those off, those incandescent bulbs, they, they waste a lot of electricity as heat. Whereas if I turn on to our LED floodlight, LEDs are sort of the latest technology, they don't waste much electricity as heat. And so they're able to generate a lot of light at a, at a low wattage. So all that floodlight uh, ability there is only consuming 38 watts. So it's detailing... Um, you know, the, the need to move to more economic power sources within our homes. I think the future of lighting within houses is probably with LEDs, it's getting more efficient as the technology improves. Energy education fits very tightly into the uh, national curriculum. It fits within year six with the topics called Power Up and also it fits very well within the year nine curriculum as well so uh, energy in general is a, a very important topic for students because it uh, relates to what they use in their home it enables them to reduce their electricity bills 
and more importantly on a global scale it teaches them the importance of changing to renewable energy so that we don't continue to produce greenhouse gases and, um, and contaminate the atmosphere with the risk of climate change getting more and more real each year. Uh, we all always point out to students that climate change is a big problem for them because anyone in the younger generations they're going to live into the time period where the effects of climate change are really going to hit home on a large scale. So it's important that we get that message across to students to find out as much about this topic as they can while they're at school.